Hi, in this video I attempt to demonstrate how to download your recorded uh, CCTV footage uh, using the DAWA web interface, the login. Right, so just to contextualize this uh, video, I'm going to attempt to download the recorded footage through a web browser, note this is Mozilla. I mean, yeah, this is Mozilla. You could be using Internet Explorer, you could be using Chrome, you could be using Safari. That's not the point. The point is, is that it's through a network connection. There we go. So that means my NVR is sitting at address 10.00.251. And then as I go to that address, it brings me to the login page of my DAO NVR. So I'll just put in my password. And I log in. Right. If you are interested in which unit I'm using, I'm using the 16 channel. It is the model 4116. And this is the interface of the 16 channel. The channels are on the left hand side. It's got the names of the cameras that I have given them. Now, in this video, I'm going to attempt to download uh, recorded footage from channel 2. Right. And that is the live view currently of channel 2. Now, I want to see previous videos, so that is why I'm going to go to playback. Now, the reason why I showed you that video is just to, to link the channel name to the number. Because when you're downloading, you need to know the number and the name. For example, say I want to see that pool area again. Which channel was it? Well, it was channel 2. Now I can choose. Do I want a one stream? Four to, to stream four channels at the same time, and so on. Uh, nine, and so on. So I just want one, and it was channel two. Now I can select the date. Now let's look at yesterday. That was the 23rd. The blue means the available days that you can select. Means that this hard drive on this setup is, be, is big enough to view footage um, at least three weeks. Look, one, two, three. It'll probably go a few days into November. So the 23rd is when I want to search. And I can just confirm that that's the month, the year. And then I can go file list. Now on the right hand side here, it shows the recording time. Times. Now please note, these aren't the, this isn't the duration. This is the actual time that it started recording. That's why it says yeah, begin time. So at 12... 15 in the night like just after midnight there was some motion now i have set up this nvr to record only on motion that's why it says yeah m motion now please note you see it says there's 17 pages so this isn't the only recording option times you'll see that i have 17 pages you know as we're going through the day of all the movement that was recorded you can see you got 17 pages now you can go to the first one by pressing the back button and then the uh, last one by going there and you can also select by going to which page you want 1 to 17 all right now let's look at the options here you've got more and you've got download and you've got back if you want to download say at 8 30 then you'll just click here and it will download now where is it downloading to you see now that will be in the more um category here more tab and i'll go i'll, I'll uh, show it to you now just to uh, show you where it's downloading to it's already been set up in the settings to download to the c drive and there's a folder there called record download and there it is there's the file now the reason why i'm showing you this is i'm, I'm actually identifying a problem it, it, de it defaulted in a download format called dav now, this format is not something that I can easily use. Like, I can't open it with VLC or Media Player Home Cinema. So, I actually want to change this format. You see, if I double click on this format, it's actually pretty useless to me. Uh, this format that it's recording is able to be viewed using the Smart PSS software. But then that's like a two step process and it's not necessary. So, I'd rather download in a format that is um, usable. Uh, so that you can view it using nice software like uh, Media Player Home Cinema or maybe uh, VLC. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift this across now. And I'm going to go to the More tab. 
Um, just by the way, this here at the bottom shows all the time that it recorded. The If you look here, this is the midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, 2, 3, 4. And you can see here, it gets... Um, sorry, I just actually want to zoom in here. Um, you can see that in the morning, you know, between 8.30 and 10, it, there was a lot of movement. And those are the ones that I actually want. So there we go, 8.30. Now, if I go to the more option... It gives me some more settings. It gives me a uh, channel. Okay, we're still on channel two. Now it's asking what type of record, regular motion, alarm, picture. Now remember that this depends on how you set up your NVR. Mine was set up to motion. So it doesn't re really matter because these won't be available. Only what was set uh, when I set up the NVR. If I set up alarm and picture, then they'll be available if I say all record. All right, now which stream do you want? Do you want the full? Or do you want both? This is the substream. So I want the main stream. That's the full file. And then it's asking me the date. Now you you got to actually fill this in manually. See twenty third, and then 08. and then um, let's just say we were interested from half past eight, and I can. Put here 23rd, that's the end time, and I can search. Now I'll get all the files here in one list here. You can see now it's, it's kind of the same as what we were doing. It's just now uh, going to give me an additional option, which is what I'm trying to demonstrate. So I wanted that 830 file. Now it says here, download to local or download to USB. I'm going to download to local. You can now set the location of where it's recording, but the most important thing is the format. Now that is ASF, which uh, I think it's advanced. Um, what's it? Advanced systems format. That's a Microsoft protocol, and it is playable using VLC. And it is playable using VLC and Media Player Home Cinema. Now you can see in the record location, it's just um, placed that file, and there we go. So I've now downloaded the video, the movement of this uh, um, this camera there's the time now while I'm showing you this I'll demonstrate another useful tool and that is to download by time for example say I want to download all these videos then I'll say download to local I'll change the format yes now watch what happens It's going to download them one by one as individual files. So that means that if you want to watch it in one go, you'll, you're actually going to have to stitch these two together using video editing software. So what you can do is you can actually say download by time. And then what you'll do is you'll say, okay, it was the 23rd. Whoops, 23rd. And you'll say 08, 30. And then you will say, we're still the 23rd, and let's say till 9 o'clock now. So I want to download all the footage between 8.30 and 9 into one file. Now I'll just change the format. And there we go. Let's download it. Where did I put it? Now you can see it's busy now. So what it's actually doing is it's getting all those files all that footage and it's actually stitching it together for you and you can also tell that by the size now can you see the others were 12 47 meg 42 now look at this one this one is 172 so this is okay i forgot to select the the the, the right camera i actually forgot to select camera two um now what's important here is it doesn't work that well it seems to get stuck like both vlc and media player home cinema does get stuck displaying this like it, it's stuck on 834.02 and I don't think it's the software I actually think it's the stitching of the the videos together I notice it doesn't actually render it correctly anyway so there's a feature which may or may not work properly so that is how you download using the web interface of the Dahua um, NVRs 
And that's uh, there's another option here. You can also download to a memory stick. I think it was somewhere here. Yes, you can download to a memory stick and to a backup device. All right. Uh, thanks for watching.